Hey everybody, it's Eileen. Sorry I'm a little late. I had a brainstorm at the last minute, which does not always happen. So when it happens, you have to go with it, right? I hope you all are having a great day. Um, it's already dark outside. It's weird with the daylight savings gone, but um, I'm, I'm rolling along. I'm finally finished unpacking the car, pretty much. Hi, Linda, how are you? So it was quite a weekend, quite a week actually, um, but all is well. Hi, Simone. Um, hey, Joellen, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Charlotta. Good to see you. Hi, Lynn. I'm getting ready for the tailgate party. Hey, Laura and Jimmy. How are you? How's it going, Jimmy? Are you doing better? Are you more encouraged? Hi, Pauline and Debbie. You know, sometimes you just have to make the mistakes. Hi, Angie. Are you ready for tomorrow? Hey, Anita. Hope you're feeling okay. Uh, yeah, so today I was fiddling around with my sample. Hey, Chris. And I came up with a really cool variation, which is putting the top on it. And these are so great to practice with. Hey, Denise. Yes, tailgate party. That's happening tomorrow. So you guys need to come because you're my, you're my good people. <laughs> you're here to learn. Okay, Jimmy. You're super ready. You'll be going in the office for the tailgate party. Very good. I'm so excited about that. I'm a little nervous about all of the controls. But, you know, it'll just be, I mean, there's, there's going to be nine. One of the guys that was going to do it, he got sick, so he couldn't come. Hey, Wilma. So we have total of nine, counting me. But I, I doubt I will have time to make anything, but I will show you some of the things. And, hey, Kathleen, I think I'm going to show people who may not have um, ever done this before, you know, make it kind of basic. So, but you guys know. Hey, Mary Beth and Helen. Uh, what I was thinking was, you guys need to, if anybody out there has made a truck, you need to post it with the hashtag Eileen Tailgate Party. All one word with a hashtag. Hi, Huguette. What a cool name. Hey, Lisa. Uh, you know, do that because, and post your picture. Do you get the paper on the mat board? Um... That's how I do it, Jimmy. I put the paper on the mat board first. Hey, Michelle and Judy, good to see you. It's been a little while. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you tips on the assembly here. Hey, Deborah, and I'm gonna show you how to you know close it in. It was so easy. Now that's only gonna work with the cardboard and paper if you wanted to make it out of paper. Hey, Anna, are you having a good staycation? Hi, Debbie. All right, so we're gonna make this today and you could paint it and it would be adorable. Hi, Dixie Joe and Cherry. So this is something that everybody has in your house, pretty sure. This is an Amazon box. It's actually a Sizzix box. It's not an Amazon box. I magically did not have one. We must have done, um... oh, hey, Pache. We must have gotten rid of all our, our Amazon boxes, but I had three of my um, Sizzix boxes, but it works with any of them pretty much. Hey, Lynn. So I'm going to show you today because I thought tomorrow we're not going to have time to put it together on the tailgate party. Some of the people will be doing it, but it won't be like a continual thing. So if I do this today, then the people, I can refer them back here to um, today's Facebook Live and they can see how to put it together piece by piece and on YouTube. But anyway, I was excited because this is, oh, you're from Circleville. Hey, Jan, I was just there. Hi, Gulzan. Um, so this anybody can do because anybody has boxes. You don't have to worry about wasting good material. It's a good way to put it together first to kind of get the knowledge of how it works and then you can kind of get fancy with it. Hey, Karen Bierce, we're making a truck. Okay, so I have some things to show you. I went out to Tennessee this weekend and our friend Margaret from Scrappin' in the City, look at what she made. Isn't that adorable? It's all of the things about Tennessee. It's got music, you know, like Opryland. I didn't realize the Smoky Mountain was Smokey the Bear. I didn't get that. I just... Oh, hey, Sharon from Australia. 
and this nice little honey whiskey in Jack Daniels. So um, I was threatening all weekend to have some, but I haven't yet. But if it gets like next week, I might. Hey, Janice. <laughs> yes, I have to do something fun with this. So anyway, there's that. And I also wanted to say thank you to Brenda. And I had never gotten to say thanks, but when I was out in Michigan, I saw Brenda. And we had a dinner. Actually, the fan club all got together. And look what she made. Tissue paper using my stamps. Isn't that pretty? So it's just white tissue paper. And then she made this nice little mug with some hot chocolate mix in it. And cocoa, I guess, different flavors. I didn't open it because it's so pretty. And also, she gave me this little bag of goodies to put in journals. Hey, Lisa. And so this has like, um, oh, let's see. I should open this. Beach House Envy. Oh, wait a minute. I need to see what's in here. I thought it was like napkins, but there's something else in here. And a little thing of buttons. And she also made a card using the button card stamp. Look at this. Isn't that so cute? And then she wrote a nice little note inside. Hi, Lenora. So I want to see what she says about... Oh, there's buttons, I think. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're cute. Aren't they fun? I just love the packaging. Hey, Sarah from New Zealand. And I can't see. You're going too fast. And that was somebody. Pammy Joe. Hey, how are you? So there's napkins and these cute little buttons. Look at those. I have some in green. They are vintage. I just love these. Even the little mini ones are just so cute. That's even half a one. Like people in the day, you know, they they just cut it, you know, chopped it off. Oh, look at this. How could I not have seen that? All right, this is Beach House Envy, 821 Brenda Towsley, an ATC. So cute. Oh, yeah. Hey, Karen. And these pretty napkins. I think I might I have these. I love them. All right. So anyway, thank you, Brenda. And I will send your umbrella back because we found that after dinner under the table. All right. So that is my thank you. Then I also have a couple samples to show you. Hi, Orla. Yes, um, Mom is doing okay today, but... I'm not sure how, I, I just don't know. Every day is like another adventure. <sighs> okay, so this is, remember our notepad? All right, Susie went super size. She bumped up the side. Wait until you see what this is. All right, it says, hello, December. It is a little hot chocolate mix. And this is a mojito little like a ch it's look chocolate with liqueur around it oh hey barbara and yvonne isn't it cute and it fits in here so she's got marshmallows and hot chocolate mix and of course the candy cane isn't that a cute idea it'd be so fun to hand these out you know at like a little cookie party or something isn't that adorable Hey, Mona, don't get in an accident. <laughs> and then on the front, wait, I'll hold it up. She used the trees from the truck, the sweater embossing folder, some fun um, bling. It's so cute. All right, now here's another one. I'm afraid to, I don't think this is going to come out, but I'll hold it up like this. This is vinyl. It's Style Tech Crafts Vinyl. And it says, tis the season. And it's like a rose gold with a glitter. And then inside, yeah, <laughs> mojitos. She has these little, I don't know what you call them. Are they gum? I think so. So she made, she put them in there because they fit. So you had to. I love it. They're just so cute. 
So be looking around to see what you could stick when, you know, inside this, if you make it into a box. And the, the size of the opening is about three quarters of an inch. So anything that's three quarters of an inch tall will fit in here. You can also use it for a book or post-it note. That's kind of what it was designed for, but it's whatever you want to make it be. Canela gum. Yeah, that's what it, okay, gum. I know, aren't they cute? So we have a whole bunch of projects just from Susie doing these. She is on a roll with them. So go ahead back and look in the blog. Um, we have so many ideas on the blog, eileenhull.com. Go over there because last week we had 17 projects and I have not even posted them yet, but they're amazing. And this month we're doing winter and holiday. So what die is that? Oh, thank you for saying that, Anita. It's this one. It is the notepad. So it's meant to kind of, you know, you have a little loop and you can put your pen or pencil in there and then you can decorate the front and it holds like a three by three note, um, post-it note, or you can do like Susie did and build up the sides using either one of your other dies that has like a, a support inside and use that, or you can use the little piece that comes on the die. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this little, yeah, I can't see where it is, but there are two little strips. So she used them to make, oh, thank you. Is that glum? Yes. Hi, glum. All right. So this is one I wanted to show you. And then the other die, the one that we're going to use today and tomorrow for the tailgate party is vintage truck. And I have another 10 coming. So if anybody needs one, I have a couple left and I have a couple more coming. So if you need it, I have it in the Etsy store. Come on over. Yes, that would be great as stocking fillers. Oh, it would be adorable. So yeah, so this is what we're using today. And I'm just going to go through and assemble it. I'm going to use hot glue today just because it's fast. And I do like how it works with the cardboard. Uh, you almost need it when you're going through. Now this piece I did not glue in because I thought I might want to take it out because look at this. If you didn't close that top in, you could fit this fun little gift card that's a truck. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So if you didn't, you know, have this piece on, it would fit fine. Um, I do have a couple other samples, which I'll show you in a minute. Hi, Jan and Linda. How are you doing today? All right, so this is not perfect, but this is a sample that I made out of a cardboard box. So if I want to work on it more, I could paint it. I could do all kinds of things to this. But for to show just how to assemble it, I thought this is a good, um, good material. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera down, and we're going to cut two of them because that's what you need to make the um, project. How is my mother? Yes, she is improving. They put her medicine up a little bit, which I was kind of worried because she seemed a little manic, but um, today and yesterday she was good. So I'm just going with that. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the camera down and we got a big mess here because I have not finished unpacking yet, but wait a minute. Um, we're going to just make this. I've got to clean tonight because we have our tailgate party tomorrow. All right, so you need extended cutting pads. And on here, honestly, I have not put any foam. I did put some uh, some luster wax. I didn't mean to, but uh, it really does stick. And it kind of glitzes it up a little bit. Um, let me see if I can get this. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys on here so I can see if there are comments. Uh, let's see if I'm muted don't want to all right yeah there we go okay good all right so here's one set that i cut out and actually probably two would do it but if you want to put the little caps on the the uh, wheels on all of them you need a couple more and you need two for all of the fenders so i'm going to cut two so this is just a piece of box, you know, it's a cardboard box. This has a little bend in it, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, it's a practice. So you can 
pick which side you like. The right side will face the die. Now, Jimmy, you had asked if I put paper on it first. I do. I put it on before I um, cut because it makes everything line up just perfectly. So you decide which side you want to be the right side. On here, it doesn't matter. I kind of like this dark side, so I'm going to do that. Now, it seems a little bit kind of skewed, so I am going to line that up as well as I can because these lines could matter. You know, it's corrugated, so it could matter when you're trying to fold it. Now, this does have some interesting properties that other materials don't. Um, all right. Go. I'm cutting one. So you'll see in a minute when we go to put this together how it's kind of different. All right, so you can see, let's talk about what we have. Here's the truck. This is the body, so you need two of those, uh, two fenders. Okay, this piece here is the little well end for the truck. These are trees. I haven't done much with them with that project. Uh, so we're going to cut this one more time because we need more if we're going to, you know, close this in and make it 3D. You need two trucks. All right, so I'm going to cut this one next. And then we're going to just put it together really quick. So you can see, see, I need to advance my cutting pad and that helps if you have trouble getting it started just advance your cutting pad a little bit and that'll help it roll through because it's got to catch on the roller all right so now we have two sets and I have another one by the side if we need it we have more parts all right and you can see now the interesting thing about the cardboard is the score lines are in there but when we go to fold that, we're going to have to do something to it. But I'll show you. You'll be happy that I'm not using a craft knife. I know you don't trust me with a craft knife. Um, all right, so let's get all this stuff out here. All right, so here is like the wheel well or the, the inside of the truck, like this part right inside here, okay? I'm going to just set this over here so you can see. All right, so when I go to bend this, it's not bending because it's going against the corrugation. See how that's that way? So what I'm going to do, I'm, you could use a blade, but in order to not hurt myself, I'm going to just go over this with my pokey tool. And that I'm digging in a little bit, but not super duper thick because I don't want to cut it. I just want to help it score a little bit better. And it depends on the cardboard and how thick it is, but uh, it does have its own kind of qualities. All right, so this is really the only one that you have to do that to. And you can see some of it is going a little more than others, but I mean, it's cardboard. It's meant to be kind of rugged. If you make a, a stack of truck shapes and glue them all together, you can make a toy truck for a kid. That would be fun. And you know what, kids? I mean, oh, here, and I will do these too. Um, these are the little things that close the uh, tailgate in. Um, the only thing that would be weird would be the hot glue, but, you know, you could just use regular glue. But kids would love that, and cardboard is, like, indestructible. Well, it does break down, but I mean as a toy, so what? You use it and then get rid of it and make another one. And I think the kids would like helping. All right, so I'm bending that all the way over. And the first thing that I do is I, I do make you use black foam for the wheels. That'd be cool. All right, now this is just, like I said, just a basic truck, nothing fancy. So I'm just going to put my glue on here, and you have to work fast. Oops. All right, and don't burn yourself. Now, Sizzix has some little things that you could put on your fingers, but I don't know where mine are. Uh, yes, the kids would probably have more fun with the box. That's true, Chris. Yeah, that you might be right there. Okay. But 
well, I just have fun making, I love using recycled materials, that's all. Yeah, they could color it with crayons or paint. That would be cute, and it would be theirs, you know? They can make a little robot truck or a Barbie truck. I wonder if Barbie, she, I don't think so, her legs are pretty long. <laughs> the trucks are trucks. Yeah, they could just color on it. Okay, so now we have the base of the inside base of the truck, all right? So now we're going to put these two together, and again, we want to figure out, you know, what direction do we want it going. It doesn't matter because it's going to be the same on both sides. So um, what I do is I lay the truck down. I kind of like this darker... Oh, hey, Mitziana. When you say for a kid, you mean me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm just going to put a layer of glue here and turn this over. And I'm going to put that in between the wheels and the top. So wherever it lands up on here, I just don't want to kind of go over this bottom line here. Okay. My The truck is your favorite one of all time? Wow. You like the one-tone look? I like that, too. It looks really kind of industrial. It's, I, I kind of like it. I just want to make a whole bunch of them. I don't even know why. But we do have the little boys coming over all the time, and they like the trains, so I'm pretty sure they're going to like these, too. All right, they're two. I mean, they that's all they know. Trucks, trains. All right, so we're just going to line this up, and the only thing you have to remember is... You know, try and make it about the same size because the wheels have to hit the ground at the same place. Okay, and then just hold it on for a little bit. And that's it. Here's Charlotta. That's normally what happens at Christmas. Yeah, you spend a fortune on a gift and they play with the box. But I do that too <laughs> sometimes. I know, it's so stupid. Uh, okay, so let's put on our little wheel covers. Now... The rounded ones go in the front, and the squared off ones go in the back, but I don't really think it matters. And if you want to kind of match it up to the color that's on there, you can. Um, but again, who's going to know? Who's going to care? Not me. I don't even know what, how cars work or anything, about them, except I just want them to go when I want to go. Like on a road trip, which I did, and it was just so pretty. It was beautiful to be going through the mountains. And the weird thing was, I mean, it's it's November, even the middle of November. Well, getting to the middle. And the leaves are just now changing, which in New York, you know, they change like the first weekend in October. That's when everybody goes out to see the foliage. So I don't know. Um... But that's what it was, and it was pretty, and I watched it. I drove up the, it was the uh, Shenandoah Mountains, so I'm, I drove up 81, which goes between two sets of mountains, and oh, it was beautiful. And I thought about nothing, which was really probably not a good idea, because then when I got home, I had all this stuff to think about, but I just enjoyed the beauty of nature, and drove and stopped and you know just just existed which was nice because last week was nuts so as you can see I'm just gluing and having a great old time here nothing fancy at all now if you did want to do all right I'm gonna take ones from this other um, thing that I already cut out because you need additional circles if you're going to do the back. Oh, maybe I need more. All right, well, we'll just do these. And I'm going to put the opposite, you know, the kind of darker ones here. The color change has been really late. Yeah, that must be why, Laura. The warm temps. I'm happy because it just worked out with my trip. We had such a nice dinner. We had a great class. I just loved it out there. We used to live in Tennessee at Fort Campbell on the other end of the state. 
And then the other thing is, and I don't know who said this, but somebody said, you know, there's no door. Well, make your own door. Use this and flip it over, and it looks like a little door. I wish I could remember who said that. If you said it, tell me so I can give you credit next time. Okay, there's that. So, there we go. We have this cute little truck. I mean, how long did that take? Nothing. No time. Uh, so, and these, you know, you would add two more here. But I only have one more set, so I'm not going to add that. But, uh, now I want to show you how I closed it in. Alright? So, what I did was, I cut this down. And this time I'm going to do it a little differently. If you look at it, you can see that this is a little wider and I might do it even um, I, it's gonna be hard to go outside of this ditch because this is already scored so I'm just gonna go along here but if you were gonna cut one you could cut a little thicker strip I have to pay attention when I have a sharp object and the thing about this is it's cool because it is bendable. Like you don't think about cardboard, you think of it as being pretty strong, but um, I'm sure some of you have gotten boxes in the mail that are kind of messed up. So it does bend and it does break, but overall it is nice and sturdy. But for what we're gonna do today is we're gonna close this in. So what I did was I took this one piece here and I'm just gonna kind of bend this a little bit and break these down so that when we go to put it together it will stick. Now you can do it a couple ways. You can put your glue in here which I did last time and it worked pretty well so I'm going to keep doing that because you can kind of go from from bend to bend that way. All right, so then you do have to hold this together for just a minute till this sets. So I'm gonna, you need those days once in a while. Yes, living in the moment. Oh, thank you, Angie. Yeah, it wasn't me, <laughs> but it was a good idea. All right, and then you're just gonna kind of gently bend this around and then we're gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna put another layer of glue going right up here and over here might be make more sense to put it on the edge of the cardboard but all right and then we're going to push that together now this is low temp glue so it it dries pretty fast Eileen how can you make cardboard look so good <laughs> oh thank you Sean <laughs> I know well it's because it is good all right, so here we're going to have to bend a little bit. But see, we'd already kind of bent that, so it goes right with it. And I don't even know if we need a lot of... Uh, I'm not going to add it over there, but I will. Uh, I think I'll just take it to the end because we want to measure and see if we need any more bending. Or I'm just going to kind of ease that in there. And if you have to heat it up again, no big deal. I might have to. All right, and let's see. Yeah, I am going to have to trim a little off. So just take your nice Sizzix scissors, cut a little bit off, see if that's good. Lay it down. Nope, we need a little more. Okay, that looks just about right. So... This time I am going to put it on the edge here, the glue, because I don't think I can get in there. Isn't this fun though? I mean, and what does this cost? Nothing. And it's a great way to test your die and make sure you know how to put it together. All right, that's a little hot. And then I hear you can take a um, hair dryer, but I bet it would work with a heat tool. And see, so you can put your fingers in here through the windows if you have to adjust that. And the size of the strip. Um, Nina, it's the piece that went in the middle. So whatever that middle strip is, let's see. 
it is an inch and a quarter it looks like so if you wanted to make it a little wider you could see how it kind of bows out a little bit but I'm not gonna worry about that now see we ran out of that piece so in order to make the bed the same width I'm gonna cut another strip because we have it And what's nice is you have these score lines in here to kind of guide you. And just roll, you know, go over, go lightly, and then it just comes apart. And then you're going to have to, oh, that's my other one. Yeah, that's better, see. So just measure how far you want that to go over. And you can see inside, you know, that's matching up. Can you guys see that? Uh, hey, Allison. All right, Chris, I hope we'll see you tomorrow for the big tailgate party. And then I'm just going to make a mark on here, and I'm going to cut that. And we've got our little... Actually, what would be fun, you know what we could do? We could make like a little tailgate, like a hinge or something. You know what I mean? Well, that's not... Uh. You could just cut it off there and it would be fine. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Because you could really go on and modify this as much as you wanted. And I might even just leave that because I might want to put a secret thing in there for one of the grandkids, you know, and say, hey, what's inside the truck? Isn't that fun? You could do a whole fleet. Now, like I said, let's see if I can find my hut. Let's see if this works, because I've heard it several times. Oh, it's not plugged in. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see if that really melts these pieces. I must know for once and for all. Oh. It, what it's supposed to do is kind of, yeah, it's doing it. Oh, that is pretty cool. All those little hairs and things, you know, little wisps of stuff. And, you know, the other thing is, if you glued it in the wrong place, you could always take it apart with the hot glue and reassemble. All right, the mystery is solved. It does work. Good to know. And what happened to our little... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's like slider. Look at that. How fun is that? Because it's on this little track. <gasps> Who knew? Isn't that amazing? Look at that. You could put a little mystery thing in there and say, open it up. Oh, I love that. All right. Well, even more, more delightful things about this truck. <laughs> And then, you know, you could paint these. Now, these come with the die. And again, what I would do is go down the center here. And the way that I thought these would work kind of cool would be to make them 3D by folding these and then attaching them to themselves so they kind of stand up. Cardboard is, oh, it's working pretty well. But that's the thought. There's a big one and a little one. So you could make these and put them in the back. You know, do like three of them. Wait, here's another one. And then just use the hot glue for attaching that. I do like not using my blade to put these together. I will admit. Oh, good, Dorothy. A little handle, wouldn't that be cute? Oh, to this? Yeah. A little handle, like a tag, like a, a tab or something that you could pull. All right, I missed a string here. Oh, look at that. It even goes inside itself. All right, let's just glue these together. So you could do four, you could do three. And just kind of squish them a little bit. And then put your other one in there and you have a fun little tree. It's 
cute. If you did four, it would stand better. But I kind of like the three. And you could put that in there. And you could paint them or do whatever you want, the big ones and the little ones. So that's it. If you slice each piece, yes, you could do a little notch. That would be cute. Yeah. Do you need the mat board for the trees? Now, you can do mat board or you can do paper. And it works the same way. If you use a sturdy paper, like this is the Sizzix. Um, there is one. Uh, here, this is, this is what we made this weekend at the class. And these are made out of the Sizzix cardstock. And they work great. So these are some extras. There's the big ones and here's the little ones. I think they'd be cute on cards because they could lay flat and then they could be dimensional too, you know. So anyway, that's them. And then I did put a little wreath on the front and I, I got them at Target in the dollar spot. They were three for a dollar. So you could do that. Just put it on the front. We used it because there were a couple people that had some like little mess up here so they just put that on and covered it right up <laughs> all right let me show you a couple more here's one that lisa hall made she did this one for fourth of july and it also matches the camper die so she did this cute red white and blue theme and uh added this fun stuff inside so what else pam bray she put a little book inside isn't that cute? So you can use your matching. Oh, that is nothing to do with it. But just like a little notebook, we have this one. Now, Tanya, she actually gave me the idea a long time ago. I just didn't make it. So she closed hers in and she left the, she came all the way down. So you could do that too. I love this. Just these delicate little flowers, so pretty. Or you can make cards out of them, you know? Just cut them out of paper and fill them with little presents or whatever. Put a cinnamon on here and you've got that. Oh, Hobby Lobby has them too. Okay. And here's one from Pam Bray. Now she had this on a wood block, which was really cute. And I like how she did this. And you could do it here too. You could close in the back and kind of stick the trees so they're standing up, which is, that's a cool idea. You know, and you could put like, I wonder if you could put the little... Fisher Price person in there or something or a little Playmobil and look at how she did the wheels I thought that was really cute and what else I think oh yeah Susie did this one out of vinyl and then she stuck these little snowflakes in there and I can't find them but look at how smooth that looks that's more that uh, style tech craft um, vinyl she's on their team and so is Sue Eldred on our team and here's another one that Pam Bray did with her paper in the background. That's cute. So you can do home decor pieces with it. Lots and lots of ideas, guys. So anyway, come on over to the tailgate party tomorrow and see what the Sizzix designers are making. Because I cannot wait to see. I, have no, I just don't know. I have a couple ideas from some of them, but not all of them. Okay, you might need dry... And sleeping guys <laughs> yeah I could have I could have my body back here you know sleeping in the truck my little blanket and pillow <laughs> that would be cute <laughs> oh man yes I love tar target dollar spot too all right well anyway that is all I wanted to do today because um, I've got to get ready and clean here for tomorrow and just get some some Facebook done and, and stuff like that. So I will see you guys tomorrow at noon and I hope that you'll be there and we're just all going to have a good time and make some trucks. Okay. And don't forget to post them. If you make them, don't forget to post them on, uh, and, and just hashtag Eileen tailgate party, no S in there. Okay. All right, guys. Good seeing you again. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at noon, noon Eastern, okay? All right, see you guys. Thanks for coming. Bye.